a big race like that, what is the mindset going into that that particular day? You got butterflies, you can't sleep at night. What you, what's going on with you? You've been racing for a long time at Langley now. You finally, finally bring it home. Definitely hydration. Uh, it's <laughs> hot out there. 200 laps in the middle of July is never easy. Uh, you know, all week it's, it's normally, I, I had the butterflies I'd say, but at the same time, you're just ready to get there and, and get on track and see what you have. But uh, main thing is just preparing on on your body i mean you got to make it 200 laps and it's i mean it's hot these cars are on the ground sealed off and there's no airflow so sure. you gotta survive. Uh, i mean these big races are all about survival so sure. um, my mindset was really like i said just hydrating and making sure i did my part to where the car was good enough i didn't have to worry about myself and uh hopefully we get the job done and it worked out right so it kind of leads me to my next question you know a lot of times you get in the car, you know, you, you got something that can win or you don't. And it was hot as hell yesterday. Practice doesn't really, it's hard to equate that to the track. When you're in your car yesterday, practice, do you feel like you had a shot or you just kind of out in left field still? It's kind of funny, actually. Friday, I thought we were junk. Saturday, we were a lot better. We made a bunch of adjustments and ended up second in practice. And that's when I really thought we had a shot at the pole. And uh, I drew a one for qualifying, my luck. <laughs> So uh, I said that made up for last year, I drew dead last. So went out first, I don't know if that hurt us or not, but we put down a really good lap and Phil was like, I think that's gonna be the pole, but we we're 11th and we were not, not even a oh, little over half a 10th off the pole, we were 11th. So times were tight, but I was like, I think we got a pretty good car still, but it's 200 laps, gotta save your tires. I mean, Langley's like really bad on the tires, so. Even with the new asphalt in, in the corners? Even, even with the new asphalt, it's, you still, you go transition from the new to the old, so you lose grip quick when you're back in the gas. So the right rear, you gotta, you really have to manage it. Um, so the race, you know, starting 11th, I'm like, we just gotta survive and get to the halfway point and see what we got. Right, so. Couple tire stops, you got your strategy. Race is kind of coming together for you. Look, like you kind of been laying back in the weeds. Was that by design, or you had the mindset you're going to the front right from the shoot? I told them in the free race. I said, I even told the team. I said, we're running 13th. Don't get upset. I said, we are not going to go up there and lead this race. I said, all we got to do is lead the last lap. I said, you know, it's it's all about management. Right. And I just felt like at the same time riding in the weeds was going to be the strategy because if you don't have tires at the end you're not going to beat them and let them burn let them get to racing and, and use their stuff up or tear their stuff up so you know 150 comes along we made some adjustments car wasn't really any better right. i didn't feel like besides having more grip with the new tires but you know we just started picking one off at a time and it just started coming together you know right so we go through the, the restart process now cautions bringing cautions into the race you know there's two or three restarts there where the 77 jumped to the outside final restart green white checker he doesn't go to the outside do your eyes light up like a christmas tree and say it's on and when you go to that restart see how it plays out are you just grabbing gears and hoping for the best yeah well in the driver's meeting they went over the restart procedure and they told us as soon as you get to the flag stand you can pull out and do whatever so i had been watching the 78 and the 77 on all the restarts and the 78 would slow the pace down and then just start rolling rolling to the to the line because we got a start line not a box right right and i knew he was going to do it again and i just timed it and when we got to the flag stand i mean i was either going to run in the back of him or pull out I pulled it inside and you know before we even got to the new asphalt i'm i'm door to door with them and i'm committed it's you know, you're not backing out when you're like that so it kind of gave me a a lane i think they were worried about each other and didn't even think i had a shot and they left the bottom wide open and the rest is history all right so brendan you've been again racing it in langley for a long time i think i remember your first race uh in south Boston, langley all that stuff you're surrounded by racing royalty at Langley, as far as Greer being your car owner, Phil Warren, a crew chief. Phil's won some big, big races, the Mecca races in Martinsville. This quite wasn't that, but how does this rank against Phil? You got something you can talk a little trash with him about. <laughs> well, you know, he doesn't have a heat, heat win because it wasn't around when he was running. So that's uh, one up on him there. But you know, he's won it as a crew chief with CE, 
And he told me in victory lane last night, he was like, it's my second one. I got one with you and one with CE. And for him to say that is cool because, I mean, he's worked with some other drivers, but for us to be the only two to do it, that's pretty cool. Uh, working with Phil is amazing. I mean, he's he's a man, you know, he's a legend. He's man. a legend along with Sean, you know, legend, legend of Langley Speedway, exactly. so. Exactly, uh, you know, legend of the late models, Sean's legend of the modifieds. And uh, like I said last night, we did it for Mighty Mouse. That was awesome to win for their family, the Bluzo family. Uh, thoughts and prayers to them. But then driving for Greer on top of having Phil Warren as a crew chief. Greer, you know, I've known him my whole time around the track and he'd never been to, you know, a late model victory lane until last year with me. And then, I mean, biggest win of his career is Hampton Heat. And it's crazy he's never won a late model race because I remember Greer with my dad and my dad never raced late models, but Mike Sprinkle did oh, yeah. back in the day. I, I, I could have swore I thought Mike Sprinkle won some late model races, maybe he didn't, but Greer, Greer is certainly special around uh, Langley Speedway as well. Oh so. yeah, when you when you get the bear hug from him in victory <laughs> lane, that's uh, that's special because uh, he's a he's a great guy and he's believed in me since he chose me to drive for him. And uh, I asked him last night, I said, "You think you made the right choice?" And he said, "Absolutely." So <laughs> that's always good for the driver, right? Awesome. Well, hey, we're going to kick this video up. Uh, call it call it a day. Uh, any sponsors? Anybody you'd like to give a shout out to uh, that's helped you along the way? Definitely, just give a shout out to Old School Video Games with Matt McKee and Derek McKee. Uh, they've done a lot for me. Our new sponsor, CarCover.com, Bryn Trim, Duragloss, Atkins Motorsports, Bryant Motorsports, Chick-fil-A Grassfield for keeping us fed, uh, WP Racing Shocks, BRC, and I definitely gotta give a shout out to Rayvon Clark for the only Ford crate in the field winning last night. I believe I said Duragloss, but uh, M&M Fleet. Yeah, why not one more time? Huh? Affordable <laughs> transmission. Just make sure I get everybody, you know. Um, that, 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 the third gear, the fourth gear works yeah, pretty good. Exactly. <laughs> transmission got that restart down pat. Uh, Schaefer's Racing Oil came on board this year. Uh, just everybody's helped me and, you know, family and the whole team. It's just a, the team is family. It's a whole family effort, you know. Um, even though we're not blood related, it's still family. Absolutely. Well, that'll wrap it up, man. Congratulations on Thank the you. on the victory, man. Thank Appreciate you for your time, me. man. Yes, sir. Thank you.